Hi, I'm Marco Tedone and I, and I am CTO at DAC. How do you see the balance between open APIs and more controlled enterprise-centric APIs evolving? And what implications does this have for businesses? Yeah, so open APIs are mainly adopted by organizations that interact with the public uh, with some sort of uh, government overseeing. So open banking started a trend, but we already know that uh, the open insurance APIs are on their way. Um, and it's a, a way for especially um, organizations both in terms of uh, enterprise organizations that want to talk to each other, but also uh, for startups and um, let's say SMEs to um, have a predictable way of consuming well-known enterprise services across the world. Uh, in my view, open APIs are uh, mainly uh, the vehicle to unlock this um, collaboration between enterprises that use a very well-defined standards. Um, then there are commercial APIs. This is where businesses keep their IP. Uh, they unlock their own services, but generally at a premium, uh, without revealing uh, the technology or, or underneath or, or how they uh, deliver these services. So my view is that open uh, APIs, whether it's in banking, whether it's insurance, in automotive, in pharma, uh, they unlock opportunities for the business to create a, an ecosystem that um, is standard, that um, protects the consumers um, because governments are involved in this sort of regulations um, and through which it is possible also to generate a new revenue models. Whereas the um, proprietary APIs, so the APIs that are the core business, they are opening entire new channels and uh, uh, revenue generating models for businesses. We see that from our customers. Uh, we know customers are creating entirely new API strategies with, driven by the business because the business see the, op the opportunity of unlocking their services to a much wider audience that uh, used to be a traditional channel.